Welcome to The Comfy Life. My name is Jacob and today is part five? Part five? That's crazy. Part five of Comfy Construction. And uh, well, got the floor finished up. If you saw the last episode, I ended with it not being screwed down, but it is now flush and screwed down. So everything is good to go there. Eventually we'll get the uh, flooring right over the top of that. But that is nice and secure now. That part that was yucky, we cleared all that stuff out there. It is solid. Grandma is not going to fall through the floor when she goes to the bathroom. So that's a good thing. Uh, what I want to get to today is kind of the big day for things. I'm going to be putting in the valve over here. And then, right next to me, in the bathroom now, is a huge piece of the surround. That's the back piece and then there's two other pieces that go together. I'm currently sitting right now inside the base. But I'm going to try to get all of that assembled and connected today so it's kind of a big day. But once that's done it's a little bit of smaller things and then cosmetic things to put together. But we're getting pretty darn close. So let's get to it. So here's what the valve looks like from the back side. This attaches to the wall there. And then this is what comes out. And actually, if you see in here, if you loosen this up, this is actually just empty. And then when you buy the trim pieces for the valve, then you can see um, how those go in and you can control things from that. This is just for doing a rough install where it holds it its place but doesn't really have any functionality to it. This black piece actually is just a spacer to help guide as far as how deep it should be to the wall on there. Um, but for me, I always like to see how things should go. So I kind of set this up where you can see I got these two 90 degrees. Um, they're shark, bait, shark bite on the bottom, but they will um, twist on here. And so at the top, I've got my straight piece that twists on, but then has shark, beat, shark bite as well. And then this would be the nozzle piece um, up at the top that connects to another stud up there. And then that's where the water line for the shower head would stick out through there. On the bottom, this particular one has a uh, valve for a tub, but I'm not gonna be using that. So I'm just going to uh, screw this uh, onto the bottom of there to basically block that end off and then that will just allow the hot and cold to run straight up for the shower. So I've got to do some work as far as getting all those things on. I got to put some plumber's tape and things on there to make sure it's got good seals, but let's start assembling this. So I went ahead and marked where the center of the valve is going to be in correlation with where the side piece is going to go because the way that this surround is there's kind of a curve that happens and then the piece starts going over this way so I just wanted to meet up more symmetrically that way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just zap this in to this spot right here.
Now, what I have to do is bring my supply lines together and push them up into the shark bite pieces. So I'm just gonna have to cut those off and push them up, but I'm gonna have to prep these as well. offset the valve just a little bit because it was going to fit symmetrically but the other part of it is I'm gonna to have to get in a grab bar and so what I'm gonna be doing is running another stud up through this section right here because then I can actually install a grab bar onto there and it'll be nice and secure you don't have to worry about anything going bad there so that's what I'm gonna work on next so this is the stud that I just put in on there and it runs, it'll be flushed then with the rest of this. But the nice thing about it is when we put the grab bar in, it's going to have something very secure to go into. And then that water valve that mixes comes out separate and then it has a, a hose that will hang on to the head and the nice thing is the one we're looking at is going to be able to slide up and down on that grab bar right there so should be nice and secure now time to start looking at getting this base actually put into place it rhymes <laughs> okay i'm getting tired i gotta get moving so the first thing you need to do when you put the shower base down is actually put in this little connector that goes between the surface of the base and then underneath to tighten this down securely on there. A lot of people don't think about that until they start getting things in place and then they're in big trouble because they go, oh shoot, I can't get under. Um, it won't be too much of a problem for me if I did forget because I can get underneath fairly easily, but I'm gonna take care of that right now so I don't have to do it later. So first you have to tip this up and then make sure to put this on in the correct order too. There's instructions for that. Who reads those though? Oh, hey, speaking of instructions, I forgot. Actually, the first first step is to put in your plumber's putty. So that, you just kind of roll up, get it into a pretty uniform shape, and then you run that around the edge so that when you tighten everything down, it creates a really good seal. And if you have any excess on there, then you can just scrape that off or cut it off and it won't be a problem. So that goes on like that. All right, now we can tip it up and put it on. So as you can see, that tightened down. I already took some of the excess off, but this plumber's putty starts to seep out from the edge there. I'll clean it up even better a little bit later. But all you do then is you can pop this cap off. There's a special little tool that you put in and it you put a screwdriver in and you can actually tighten things down even more later on, but you'll be able to actually fit the drainage pipe that goes below right into there so we're good to go 
All right, so I've got everything leveled off. Everything is solid. The base isn't moving. It's in the right spot that it needs to go. And before I go down and connect these, uh, instructions on everything say to pop these out and use these clips to go onto the edge of the base and then secure them into the studs going all the way around. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to go down and hook up the drain and get all that connected. So we are back downstairs and what we're going to end up doing now is completing this, not just doing a rough in, but going through with our uh, cement, which if you've ever used this stuff, it doesn't take very long. And when it's connected, it does not come apart. So what I'm going to do, I've got all my pieces measured out. Everything fits in place. I'm going to just kind of take these apart and then uh, assemble them in a place so that I can get them ready to go for one final we're done. I was gonna show you how I put this all together and I thought I was filming but uh yeah forgot to hit the record button so this is how those pieces are connected together. You can see some of that purple primer. It's always good to just go a little bit further than what you think just to make sure um, and so what I'm gonna do is put this end into the adapter for the one, an inch and a half to two inches and then I'm going to put in the last piece of piping in there and hopefully I'll capture that as far as how I put the uh, cement on there. All right let's put it in. That ain't going nowhere. All right, time to put uh, that last piece of pipe in there. All right, she's all in place now. Should be good. So this is what that drain looks like from the top, which is perfect. That worked out really well. So what they say to do on this is to put in this rubber gasket and fit that around in here. I'm probably gonna have to struggle a little bit with like a screwdriver like this to get it around. But once you get it started, it shouldn't be too bad. Get that in there. Bear with me. Okay, like I said, struggle. Ugh. All right, so that's in place. And then they give you this ring that is screws down in here. And they have a special tool that you set in there. And then you use a screwdriver to tighten it down to have a good seal with that gasket down there. And that just went down the drain. <sighs> Adventure. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a magnet on a string and get that out there. Or it's getting flushed down. Now it's stuck in the pea trap. All right, time to find a magnet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I've got my makeshift lure on a string. <laughs> we'll see if this works. It's not the kind of fishing I want to be doing right now. Oh, oh, oh. 
easy does it. <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Okay, come on buddy. Hold on. Certain things, they got loose lips. You gotta be real careful when you're about to get them landed on the boat. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, success. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, how about I uh, put this on right now? There, no more going down in there. All right, we've come to the big part of getting the surround in. I've got the back wall for this, the shower and we're going to pop that right in. The nice thing about these kits is you can just put it right in, goes into the slots and then you screw them into the studs at the top and then you just kind of pit, uh, fit the other pieces right in there, pretty simple. So. Just gonna have my wife help me out and carry the big piece in and then we'll keep putting things together. trickier side just because we have the valve here that needs to be cut out for the next piece. So what I'm going to just do is measure off of the bottom going up and the side going over off the next piece and then find the center of that and then I'll use the saw, a hole saw and cut that out and then we should be able to pop that piece right into place. at the valve I pick out a hole saw that is going to fit just right over the top of that so I have access to it and so now I'm gonna cut out the hole I pray that I measured correctly the 5,000 times that I did do it all right let's do it correctly those 5,000 times. Let's see.
Hey! Perfect! And now, it's just a matter of screwing everything into place to secure it onto the studs. So, I'll get zapping. is a shower surround, a walk-in shower surround. Everything's put together, everything's screwed up tight. So all I'm gonna have to do is do some caulking around the bottom edge and then just the, uh, the seams, or actually there's the seam there. These are actually going to hold little shelving units in the corner, that's what that little bit of contrast looks like if you see up close a little bit more. There's little shelves that'll go into the corners there, but I picked this one specifically because it had smooth edge on sides so that I can go in and put grab bars in for grandma to hold on to so it's nice and safe. But yeah, that is a shower surround. So I just have to put the valve in, or the, the actual valve into the valve, and uh, attach the grab bar with a the head and we're good to go with that and then I'm just gonna put some uh, drywall around the top edge and on the sides and this thing is gonna be set to go well a little close there all right so I'm gonna get that stuff done in the next video so I'll probably do that along with getting the flooring put in and then it'll be toilet and vanity and it's about time. Grandma's gonna be moving in real soon here, so I feel good. This went fairly well. All right, so on to the next part after this. In the immortal words of the comfort, adventure. See ya!